Hi everyone, it's Daniela and welcome back to my channel. I have a Tuesday morning haul to share with you and the winner of my giveaway from the Crafters Companion Warehouse Sale post I made. I'm so sorry. It was supposed to be yesterday. I don't know what's going on. The more things get go, I don't know how to put it, the more the craft room redo moves forward, I feel like that's the farther I go behind. I am half of a mess. I don't know. I don't know. How <laughs> I keep like trying really hard to be so, oh, this will be one, two, three, and it's not. It's just not. So my husband's been home summer and some time off. And he was able to get some of the things I need. And this room is not even close to ready for them. As it is, my craft room is in the downstairs. I have a two-floor house. It's like a colonial. Bedrooms upstairs, living downstairs. And it's in the back of the house. So in order to put new things in or move things around to do things in here, we just moved stuff in the living room. So it's all in the living room. Just sitting in the living room. So then some things that were in the living room, we had to put upstairs in the, we have like a, I don't know how to put it. It's a very big hallway. Not really a hallway. It's, I don't know how to explain it. Go upstairs. And front is the bedroom you go left and there's this huge space linen closet and my room and my other son's room if my kids were little in this house that would have been their playroom linen closet for toys it would have been because I feel like it could be used as like a family room but anyhow so now there's stuff all over there there's stuff here in the living room living room stuff upstairs because that makes total sense and now more stuff just came in my husband picked it up yesterday and where is it not only in the living room some is in the kitchen so it's bananas and I've just rambled for two and a half minutes and I am sorry <laughs> but I'm grateful I remembered to do the giveaway today I thought yesterday was Friday I don't know what I'm doing so okay so we have the Tuesday morning haul and the winner of the giveaway so let's get this haul out of the way first it's not little it's not huge it's great but you know the Tuesday morning crisis in my life because of craziness that's going on I don't know um, I know so many of you are saying yours aren't closing and stuff and I'm so happy for you and five of six are closing and the one I didn't even bother to attempt to go to I got an email that they're up to 40% off and they're selling the fixtures already so I went to the one I I like the best and stuff and everything's already 20% and it looked like there was only 25% out of a hundred percent a product left in that store as far as crafts it was 75% empty so I my next move is going to be to go to the one that's staying open with the elevator to the basement so keep you posted on that one but I did have this authentic paper and I know I bought it in six by six if I'm not mis mistaken so it's really good to get the 12 by 12 and I'm fairly certain I do not have this in 12 by 12 but even if I did I mean it's it's all the months of the year so you only get two pages per month. So if I did have a 12 page, then I have four, you know. I mean, I guess this one's 24 sheet, 12 by 12 double sided paper. Let me spin this around. Spin it. I'm sure you've seen it. Oh, wow. Here's what I'm trying to say. They give you side's plaid, this one's holly, this one is fall leaves and fall colors. 
uh, yellow and black, and got some pumpkins and apples and summer stuff for the July, May, April. Sorry, am I going right? <laughs> March. No, this is April. Oh, I missed June. I'm nuts. April, March, St. Patrick's Day, February, hearts, and January is snowy. So now you get the same thing again. So you get two each for each month only. So having extra is not a bad thing if you ask me. So good about that. This Vicki Booten, I was excited to get because I like that her papers are double sided. And um, they have really cool designs. Um, did you guys notice the price is six ninety nine? That's what they all were. I saw last week too. I bought a paper pack. I thought, and I was like, "What?" Anyway, these are double sided. They're nice, thick paper, and you know she's already done some of the mixed media for you, but. Which makes it cool so if you cut this whole thing out and add it to your own mixed media. It's super fun. And coloring and you know, you can cut things and there's some stuff. Excellent. And it repeats. So I was glad to find that. I have a lot of paper. I'm filling up my cubbies. A lot of paper. In the very best of ways, right? I think so. <laughs> so then, what happened next? I don't even know. Oh, I also found this from Vicki Booten, which I thought was interesting. Um, it's a card making pad. Just because, sweet, my heart, you know, you fold this in half and you've automatically got a card. And there's a bunch of, on this one, um, reasons. And some of, that's why they're white in the back. Wood grain. I always go the other way. Cut these out, I guess. Let fold it in half. You know. They're good for cards, which is what they say it's for. But it's good for a lot of things. And I like that there was maps and print and nice watercolor designs. So that was fun. And I don't, I didn't get this. I don't have this paper. I've seen it, whatever. For $1.99, I just thought these washi strips were so cute. I mean, I'm not huge on the unicorn, as you know, but they're funny. And there's foil and foil. These are all emoji faces and band-aids and foil and stuff. And you get three sheets. So I thought that was pretty good. Those are all of the designs. I thought that would be fun, you know. I don't know. A little fun washy kind of stuff. And I found some dyes, of course. And this one I was going to make with you, but time is not my friend. And so I'm just trying to figure out. I found this interesting. And it says it's eight and a half inches or six inches. But that's including the leaves, I guess. I'm not exactly sure. I can move in now, actually, and I didn't. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I wanted to make, put it together and then put it on a um, barrette. I thought that would have been fun. And that's what it reminded me of. But I don't know how that works. Is it just to put the leaves on? So I don't know if there's... Embellished image shown, uh, mm -mm -hmm. large rows, that's all it says, or the six inch rows. So I thought that would be cool. 
but I mean any kind of adornment like that not a regular flower so I was looking to say oh my gosh look at that leaf <laughs> well good though see there are directions let's pull this guy off and take a peek okay Ooh, all right um right so fold your paper I'm not sure what that is add some dies get three okay where you see they're connected okay I guess so I'm going to fold paper put those on make three of the big three of the small and three of this thing and two leaves and then curl this gigantic thing curl the gigantic spider like thing number six does anybody understand number six here what am I supposed to do and then that will happen they just show curled things what is that just the center I guess yeah this thing is just the center see it in the middle of this guy that's why I wanted to try it with you I can't believe it's this big though I mean I read the outside I just I guess I wasn't thinking clearly you said it's humongous see this one there they are they're here but they weren't here that's why I didn't understand what that piece was so anywho That'll be proved to be interesting, I am so sure. But is that a bad thing? I don't know. Doubt it. So this is a uh, mistletoe. So I thought that was funny. I mean, peculiar that it was there. And it's mistletoe gatefold. So as you see here, they have it on both sides. So I thought that could be fun. You put it on one side of a card. You could just cut it out. That's what I probably would do more. But so I thought that was pretty cool. I was happy with that. Happy to find that. Enjoyed it. Looking at it, finding it. And then I got this because I thought I got a stamp set just like this recently, and now I can't remember. And I don't want to be annoyed because it was $5.99. And if I didn't get a stamp set, that would be like it, which is the reason that I got it in the first place. Let's measure. This is three, less than three and a quarter for the big one. But I thought I did. I can't be sure. And so we'll see what I'm going to do about this. So that's all I'm going to, I'm like, eh, you know, I have a bunch of doily and wreath dies and stuff. So, and then this, because I always like to get this and the stamps. And I know I just don't have enough butterflies. <laughs> oh my heck, I just am a sucker for a butterfly. Crazy. Hmm. Then... I got these are only $3.99. And look, they're like mermaid tails and scoops. Like there's like a scoop at the bottom. And glam brush set. This is so silly. It's the glam set. That's what I got. What kind of brushes do you have? Oh, a number five and a royal, you know. You know the brand. No, it's really not a scooper. But it could be kind of a scooper. Oh my, this is like really hard. But you know, it's good. I like to keep paint brushes near me. Not for painting. My paint brushes are over there for painting, but inexpensive ones like this I use more for um sweeping. Like, um, and they're, they seem like they're good for the job. 
sweeping off embossing paste, glitter, die cut fallout, you know, stuff like that. So I tend to like to keep some around for just that reason. Then they had these, and you know, I, everybody buys these all the time. Two ninety nine craft envelopes can't get enough. I it's funny. Um, I want to find some six by six envelopes because I'm I am running low on those because you just don't get those all the time, you know. So, and last week I bought a few of these chalkboard things, so I bought a couple more this week. Dollar forty nine only for these really cute tags. There's twelve of them. And again, you know, holiday treats and things like that. I really like them. And the markers I have. And these are also $1.95. There's three of them. And again, for names, putting on Happy Mail, whatever. Cute. So that's my haul. What? Now, drum roll. Who is the winner? of this giveaway the crafters companion paper pad I'm trying to say 48 pages pieces and this one razzle dazzle nine piece collection and roaring 20s and the winner of these three items is Four, five, six, Mona Lisa. Congratulations. Yay. You are the winner of my giveaway. Um, send me an email. My email address is in the description. Send me an email and with your address and I'll send the prize to you. I'm, thank you all so much for watching my videos and wanting to win things and just just being you you guys brighten my day every time every time and i'm trying really hard to keep up with everyone but i just told you the whole the madness of my life as if everybody it doesn't have it right i understand you know going through it all so um i forgot when i did my um hashtag no paper left behind progress report I forgot to mention oh by the way on the first hopefully the way things are going when I come back on to show you what I'm going to use next month and all of that I was going to give away stuff then but I forgot to tell you so now that giveaway will start on the first some of the little things that I know is making on the little tag and pockets I don't know if I'll have anything but tag and pockets, but I'll have tag and pockets. Why do I feel like there was something else? I don't know why. So anyway, watch out for that. <laughs> and as I clean in there, if I find anything else that I have more than one of, or I think you might like or whatever, you guys will be the first to know. So please, everyone, please, please know how thankful I am to all of you. I pray for you all every day and I want you to be well and stay safe and keep being awesome because I know that you are all awesome because you're here. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.